morning, Crusaders. We've got one week of school left before spring break. We hope you've been working hard this semester and will get to enjoy your time off. We've had some exciting events happening around school these past few weeks. The National Honor Society induction took place yesterday at the Casa Bomb Theater. Congratulations to all students who were inducted. It is a great accomplishment to become a part of NHS. If you are not a member of NHS but would like to be, keep striving to do your best in academics and next year you could be inducted as well. We would also like to give a shout out to Edsel Gonzalez for winning the third round of California's Lion Speech Club contest on privacy. Other Crusaders who should be recognized for their academics are the five Crusaders who earned the National Hispanic Recognition for October's PSAT. Congrats to Josh Onorezo, Pablo Hernandez, Zoe Manalo, Roman Flores, and Eduardo Navarro Gomez. Our spring sports rally will be taking place at the fifth block today. Make sure to head to the gym directly after class to cheer on the sports teams being recognized. On another note, there have been some accidents happening in the parking lot at Modern Day. We wanted to make sure to pass along the message to drive safely to minimize the risk of anything happening again. Here's what Crusaders have to say about driving safely and some changes that might be underway. A lot of people aren't paying attention when they're driving. They're talking on the phone, which I see that every day. I just notice a lot of kids getting kind of distracted and goofing off and just not being aware of their surroundings. The uh, schools are looking into getting speed bumps for the parking lot to try and slow the traffic down through the middle of the parking lot. Because if people, um, they can't bounce across them, so it would stop traffic from going too fast and that would make a more safer environment to leave campus. We hope these changes will help minimize accidents and keep everyone safe. Now we're off to Crusader classes. Wanda D is reporting special events starting with the Crusader classes. Here we go. because human beings are natural storytellers. We, uh, need to, we need to learn how to communicate with each other. Uh, we learn through storytelling, teaches you how to use your imagination. All of these are skills that can be applied to any type of job or interest. The dance class offers kids the opportunity who might not be inclined to participate in normal PE. Dance PE offers them an outlet to still be creative, still be able to exercise but not necessarily have the physical activity of a normal PE class. So we learn choreographies, everything from hip-hop to contemporary. It's based on what a lot of the kids want to learn and the different styles they want to learn and then we just learn choreographies based on those different genres and the songs that they're interested in dancing. Now for special events, Day for a Day is just around the corner. It will be on April 5th, so start saving your money now. The money raised will be going to yearbook, so please help out and bid on April 5th. Last but not least, we have the showing of the importance of being earnest. This upcoming production is put on by Ms. Brown, and here she is to give you a glimpse of what it's all about. Spring production is the importance of being earnest. It was written by an Irishman named Oscar Wilde in 1895, and it's still very re relevant. It's a comedy. It's a comedy of manners, it's making fun of social classes. It's going to be the end of the month, the 31st of March and the 1st of April, Friday night and Saturday night at 7 p.m. Looks like a night full of entertainment, so make sure to support your fellow Crusaders and check out the play. Well, that's it from special events. Now back to Cassie and Cliff. Thank you. Now we're off to Jesus with sports. Hey, Jesus Lopez, coming to you from MDTV. As the end of March, so comes the end of March Madness. Thank you to all the student athletes that participated. School number two, keep the grind, never sleep, John 316. As March ends, April begins and bringing ping pong at a full force. Stay tuned for more information on how to sign up and participate. For the month of March, we have acknowledged two track runners to be Athlete of the Month. My name is Eduardo Navarro, and I run the 400 varsity in track and field, and I'm the Athlete of the Month. I so say track has to have to have to be the sport that has like the least amount of qualifications because anyone can come out and just run. But it is the toughest one to stay into. Lots of people join and a lot of them leave. So what it, honestly what it really takes is just dedication. You know, even though it's like an individual sport, it's good that we encourage each other. Um, I do the 4 by one relay and the 100 meter. It's just like dedication into what you're doing. And I mean, having fun also. Track practice is never easy. And so it definitely does because you're all there with each other, supporting each other. Um, coach, she'll push you. She'll definitely push you. Um, but she's really supportive and she wants the best for you. Congrats to Eduardo and Hennessy. Keep up the good work. Unfortunately, that's it for sports. Until next time, Jesus Lopez, out. Thanks, Jesus. That's it for this episode of MDTV. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.